local airlines will have to pay more in future to buy new planes. The OECD is preparing to shake up the industry with reforms to how it does business. Nera Chayich has the details. Over the past couple of years, airlines have increasingly turned to state agencies offering guarantees for loans when buying new planes. The problem? Some airlines weren't allowed to do this if part of the aircraft was manufactured in their home country. So, for example, Air France or Lufthansa couldn't use the system to buy an Airbus plane. Likewise, Delta couldn't for a Boeing. Companies said this home rule was unfair and favoured rivals such as Emirates or Ryanair who could access the cheaper funding. Now, with the new rules, the premiums charged for export guarantees may rise. That would reduce distortion of competition between airlines, but it would also make it more expensive to finance planes in general for most of them. Neira Chehich, Bloomberg. So to look at the new rules facing airlines, I'm now joined by Stephen Fardek, head of the OECD's Export Credit Division. Thank you so much for joining us today. There's a lot of controversy surrounding the proposal saying that actually it's just going to be much more expensive for airlines to finance new aircraft. What do you, how do you respond to that criticism? Well, I think the real issue is that uh, this new agreement levels the playing field across manufacturers, governments and airlines. So I think that we've actually, in, in, in moving to the market, we've, we've actually rationalized the export financing programs of governments in favor of a system which uh, matches purchases to the value of the asset and uh, repayment streams. And the proposals, of course, are trying to make everything fairer, but you still have critics such as the CEO of Emirates saying that actually this just is another example of incumbent airlines getting governments, using governments to fend off competition from the Gulf Airlines. Do, we, do you refute this? Well, this was not the intent at all. We really, as we said, we're trying to move to the market we want export credit agencies to support and complement the market, but not to crowd it out. Those airlines that have good access to the market properly should go to the market more often than they have been in the past. And we think that the pricing system and the uniform terms and conditions across all airplanes, all manufacturers, actually will move toward a more rational system where people choose financing sources based on objective criteria and not attractive government terms per se but more expensive? Uh, they will be more expensive because the market dictates they should be more expensive. All right, Stephen Tavares, thank you so much for that. Well, one of the airlines set to suffer most from these new rules is Emirates. Its president, Tim Clark, joins me now on the phone from Dubai. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, we were just speaking to the OECD saying, actually, this is as fair as possible. What's your reaction to his comments? Well, I, I, I really can't agree with that. Uh, one, one has to ask why the status quo has been changed for so many years. The European aerospace and the American civil aerospace have been producing airplanes for uh, a number of airlines, perhaps in the developing world, who needed support because these are very, very expensive assets to buy. Most of these countries couldn't afford them or couldn't afford to pay cash or, or found difficulty in raising debt elsewhere. So the but government Tim of Clark, the countries... Does that you, you think that this basically puts the Gulf Airlines at a disadvantage compared to the big national carriers? No, I, I think first of all, we, we, we've never been placed at, at we would never be placed at a disadvantage because OEC, OECD changed the rules. Emirates only uses 20 percent. 20 percent of our fleet is financed on using the export credit agencies in Europe or, or XM. Um, so, so it really it, it's not going to stop us or hold us back at all. It may present problems for others because the debt will be more expensive to incur. Fair enough, but in the end. The, the, the carriers that in Europe and America have always had recourse to commercial debt. They haven't used the export credit agency supported debt because yeah. debt has been supplied at very commercial rates when the times were good. When the times were bad, it became more difficult. And these carriers would not have been able to raise the debt against their, their, their balance sheet.